Welcome back everybody to Pop Culture Conspiracy. How are y'all doing today? I'm your host T and in this video I'm going to be talking about Cardi B, Offset, and the non-stop antics. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments and please turn on your notifications. All right y'all, I really like how somebody say here go Cardi B and Offset in an annual divorce filing. Like seriously, you guys, this is tired and through. They clearly need press for something. Now, if you pay attention, Cardi B and Offset do not make money off music. I keep telling y'all, most celebrities don't make money off music. They really don't make that much money off of what you think they make money off. Just period. Again, they got actors out here. They got designers out here. They got, you know, influencers out here. They got people who, again, who's, who have fame, who claim that they make money from what they're famous for but they don't really make money that way. This is a money laundering 101. And I'm trying to tell y'all that because when Cardi B was walking around supposedly her second home that she was showing off, I'm like, now how you get all this money? Because you haven't dropped an album since what, 2017, the invasion of privacy? You don't make money off Grammys, okay? Those are just meaningless awards and you not touring like that. You not booked like that. Nobody is streaming you like that. And even if they were, y'all make pennies, fractions of pennies off of streams. So the streams ain't doing it. You claim that, you know, you got a million endorsement deals. And I believe, you know, you making some money off them endorsement deals, but not enough money to justify your lifestyle. And I know a lot of people send them free shit and all of that. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, Y'all not really paying for shit. Y'all not really earning shit. By the time you get done paying everybody in your camp, you're not taking home much. Y'all got to start waking up. And I'm saying that to tell y'all, I'm saying all of that to say these two are against stunt queens. You know, this is all PR and stunts. Now, maybe Cardi does have some new music coming. Maybe Offset does have some new music coming, but it's not going to sell well. They're not very talented people. And again, they don't make hits. You know what I mean? Like Rihanna, again, is not, she can't really sing or dance, but she can make hits. These two don't really make hits. So ain't nobody really like checking for them musically like that. Now, Cardi B claimed that she got some type of, you know, deal with Marc Jacobs. And I'm sure that, yeah, she do. I could see it. I got the photos in here. Okay, yeah, you got you a Marc Jacobs deal. So you doing all of this to push bags that you don't actually sell? Something ain't adding up. Now, again, I think maybe they got a new, maybe she has a new collab coming. Maybe Offset got an album dropping. I don't know. But this whole mess with Pretty Reds and all of this, Pretty Reds was paid to be there, was paid to be photographed with Offset to make it seem like, oh yeah, he running around. Yes, Offset been running around. Cardi not gonna leave him. She hasn't left him yet. She loves the hood shit. She loves the toxicity of it all. So I think these two are gonna be married or maybe, you know, at least 10 more years to be real with you. Like, I don't think that they about to break up. And she claimed that, oh, yeah, we, we getting divorced. You big bellied and pregnant. You not going nowhere. He was just hunching on you. Like, stop. This is tired and through. They do this shit every damn year when they need some press. And imagine being that hard up that you got to use your marriage as a PR machine. You know what I mean? That should tell y'all just how illegitimate these people are. Now, the fact that them two have all of this free chrome hearts, just notice that too. And again, the Marc Jacobs collab, them two, and I've, I've been telling y'all this, they are very tied in with the fashion industry. Like they are, they, they real in good with the fashion people. That's how they get all of these free clothes, free bags. You know what I'm saying? Again, Chrome Hearts is pricey. They do a money laundering too on the low. And again, didn't Chrome Hearts just get acquired by LVMH? I keep, I keep telling y'all this shit. I keep telling y'all these people do money laundering. Like Cardi B keep having all of these babies, all of these babies, no album. Keep making all of this money, all of this money nothing to really justify it again all the endorsement deals in the world like you got to break off your agent who helped broker that deal 
So it does not justify your extremely lavish lifestyle, which again lets me know you're doing something funky behind the scenes. Now, what I think, because I've been noticed it with these with these girls, with these industry chicks who keep pumping out babies left and right. Because see, back in the day, it used to be, and Cardi B the one who kind of changed that. Back in the day, it used to be. You know, you're not even you're not even big yet. Why are you pregnant? You're not even where you want to be in your career yet. You shouldn't be pregnant. Nowadays, it's if you want to get big in your career, you need to get pregnant. Just peep that. Peep how everybody these days walk around big belly and pregnant. They don't give a damn about a ring. They don't give a damn about their career because see, the children is how they get on. And y'all know they got that substance that's moving around the industry that everybody talking about. That illegal drug that everybody keep talking about. You know what I mean? Just if you pick up what I'm putting down and everybody having kids, offerings, y'all better wake up. And I'm going to end this video right there. Let's talk in the comments, y'all. Bye.